What's up, y'all? It's your boy Andre Romance. I'm coming at y'all with a crazy topic today. Crazy, crazy topic. I actually got a video for y'all to look at, so we're gonna tap into the video, then we're gonna talk about it after. All right, check y'all in a minute. The genius of our body means it is able to counter the production of free radicals with the production of melatonin. We have created in ourselves a precise balance, a perfect system of defense. It has taken our body millions of years to perfect this technique. A technique created based on the surroundings we have evolved in. But over the last few decades, our surroundings have changed and changed exponentially. To the naked eye, the world appears to be the same. But at a cellular level, it is the biggest change in environment life has ever encountered. It stands to reason that such a gargantuan change would inevitably upset such a delicate balance. And the consequences of our bodies not producing the right amount of melatonin could be disastrous. Scientists around the world now believe that free radicals could be the causal factor in every known disease, not just cancer. In, in the beginning of the 1900s, uh, childhood leukemia was a medical rarity. We've seen nothing but a, an increase in, in childhood leukemia ever since that point. It's going up every year by about 2%. And that applies to many other uh, disorders as well. Uh, autism, brain tumors, cancer. Cancer rates in the 1910s were, were probably half of what they are today. Um, and many other diseases are being uh, connected by studies, by scientific studies, with exposure to, bio, to electromagnetic fields and radiations. Uh, not just power lines, but also to radio fields and microwave fields. Because we've, we've, we've start, we've, in the last 50 years, really, we've, we've immersed ourselves in an ocean of electromagnetic radiation. It's all around us now. Invisible, we can't see it, but we know it's there. Every time you lift up your mobile phone, you know it's there. It's, it's very, very hard to turn the clock back, or if not impossible to turn the clock back. But we need to be aware of the adverse health effects so that we have the choice of taking precaution against the exposures. If that's what we wish to do, that's what we need to do. So this, vi this video crazy, right? So pretty much if you, if you get the right amount of sleep that you're normally supposed to get, which is about nine hours of sleep, for your body to fully tone in and recondition itself and to start healing itself. If you get electronics going on around your room, around your house, you got your Wi-Fi going on, you got your Apple Watch, your Apple phone, all of that stuff is still active, it's still receiving and sending information while you sleep. You're not getting your full amount of rest. Like your, your, mel your melatonin is not turned on, it's not healing your body it's not doing anything for you so pretty much you're just in a comatose state you know while you sleep and nothing else is happening during the process now that that's a crazy thing to think about because growing up we really didn't have cell phones like that you know what i'm saying and we can go out and we can play all day you know as kids we can go out and we can just play and play and then we come home and we'd be ready to go to sleep pretty much you know what I'm saying? That we would wake up and we'd be ready to go again. Nowadays, these kids, is, they, they're they surrounded by these frequencies. You know what I'm saying? And even I notice it within myself. My body is not healing as fast as it used to. And a lot of times we blame it on age, you know? Like, like because we're getting older, you know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to heal at the same amount, the same speed that we used to heal. You know what I'm saying? Like sores and sprained ankles and stuff like that, sore throats. But it's the frequencies. The frequencies is being cut off and you're not getting your adequate amount of rest. You know, so that I mean that's pretty much what I was talking about the other day when I was saying 
that you got to get the right amount of sleep. And I didn't know it was it went this deep, though, you know, as far as the frequencies cutting up your sleep, you know what I'm saying, and messing around with your, with your ability to heal and all of that stuff. But that's crazy that, that you know, frequencies, just frequencies being put out could control how your body responds to the environment. And, you know, and that goes to say... The same for the animals and the bees and all that stuff that's becoming extinct because of these frequencies. They did a research and and they did it with bees and they put they put a phone inside of a, a beehive and um, they calculated like how many bees would come back after the after they put the phone in versus how many was coming back before the phone and they did it they did it a few times and they. They realize that it is the frequencies that's messing with the that's messing with the patterns of the uh, navigation of these animals and stuff like that. Because you know the animals they they navigate based off of the frequencies off the earth. You know what I'm saying? They know how to navigate and get back where they where they came from based on the tones and the frequencies. So now that we we have all these towers and stuff going, you know, we got all these towers and we got. We got Wi-Fi everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And now the 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 major threat is that we're going into this 5G stage, which is like totally blowing it's blowing anything that we ever had as far as you know wireless out of the water. But is it good? Is it safe? Cause if they're if they're showing levels of of radiation just for everybody that has these phones now it's not it's not a big problem when you only got like one or two people that that got a phone or whatever that got these frequencies you know it's radiation is still at a low but if you got everybody on the block you know what i'm saying it dang near nine out of ten people in the family have have a cell phone and all of these frequencies is being you know, it's being put out at the same time as they're emitting these these frequencies. Then you got a greater issue. You got a greater problem. So, I would I would you know I would say like start pulling back. You know, start pulling back from the social medias. Stop. Uh, start um, getting back out into nature. Start start uh, using your self energy to heal the land. You know. I know what as humans we take and we take we don't give back to even just the land. I mean, shoot, most of us don't even give back to the people in the land, you know, let alone the land, the land itself. But you know, we had to come to a point where if we if we if we love the environment that we live in, we got to start taking care of it. Cuz like like this video was saying, man, the the frequencies is killing the earth it's killing off the animals it's killing off the insects and for the bees like if we lose the bees man we pretty much are done if we lose the bees because the bees they pollinate the flowers the trees all of that stuff you know and we need the trees to breathe we, we need them you know if we don't have trees then we ain't got oxygen if we ain't got oxygen we ain't living you know what I'm saying it's gonna cut the population dramatically so i encourage y'all man like even when y'all when y'all going to sleep turn y'all phones on airplane mode whatever get the right amount of sleep that you need to get you know don't deprive your body of its uh, melatonin by having all these frequencies going on i mean you can be in a pitch black room but if you got the cell phone going on you still your 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 um paneno paleno but pineal, pineal gland, there you go. Your pineal gland is still picking up those frequencies as it would light. So it's telling your body that there's still light. So I cannot turn on the melatonin. I can't charge. You know, I can't run at full capacity. And so once you get rid of those frequencies, you know what I'm saying? You cut off the devices and all of that stuff. You can rest. You can your body can get its adequate sleep, and it can recharge, and it can do everything it needs to do to make you heal and make you better. So uh, we we gotta start cutting back on the technology, y'all. Five G, stay away from it. It is dangerous. Okay, it is pure radiation. 
is going to bump if not by 50% if not by 60% 50% your uh your uh your uh risk of of having cancer okay cancer is about to shoot through, through the roof um, um there's a bunch of videos that's talking about how crazy 2020 is going to get i believe that this is one of them is going to be crazy so I, I I just like man. I want y'all really to just start researching, start looking at what's going on around you. Look at the agendas that's that's being pushed towards our kids. You know what I'm saying towards our societies to 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 be in a condition where we won't repopulate and we won't continue to live life how we're supposed to. You know, like there's just so much going on, y'all. So. Uh, this is another one of my wake up videos. You know what I'm saying? This is just me showing you a little bit of what's happening in our world, you know, to our animals and to our environment. Uh, hopefully y'all care enough about the environment to make a change. And hopefully y'all care enough about yourselves too. You know, this, this technology is causing cancer, you know, having phones directly to your head is, is creating, uh, it's creating cysts, it's creating, uh, tumors in the brain is creating all kinds of stuff, man. They haven't, they haven't had it around long enough to uh, gain that amount of information to say this is what's causing cancer. But I guarantee you that phones and the usage of it and the usage, the usage of Wi-Fi and all this wireless stuff that we got going on is causing major issues with our bodies and how we think, how we process the whole nine. How the environment is taking a toll, global warming, all of that. It plays a huge part. So if you do your part, you know, use it when you need it. And when you don't need it, you know, shut it down. Shut it down. You know, give your body a rest from it. Because, I mean, it, it even goes in as far as there being an issue with uh, with it making people sterile. People carry their phones in their pockets. And, you know, the frequencies that are down there in that area, you know are down there in that region so it's causing people to be sterile as well you gotta look into this stuff you know what i'm saying protect yourself is all i'm saying protect yourself i love y'all man i'm gonna keep bringing these videos man and i'm gonna keep on doing it you support me share my videos like my videos if you got some topics hit me with some topics that you if you want me to jump into them but man i'm here for y'all man i love y'all Keep me up. I'm going to keep y'all up. Let's go. I'm out of here.